I'm uh, Norman Thibodeau. I'm from upstate New York, specifically the Albany region, and I'm a flutist and composer. I've been coming here for about two decades. Um, I had heard about Wild Acres from a fellow student back when I was in graduate school, and when I first came, it was a it was the summer, just after I had gone to uh, attend. Uh, like a three-week owner-builder class at uh, a Shelter Institute in Maine, and I was in a very do-it-yourself mood at the time. And I heard that Eldred Spell, who always, whose reputation I was familiar with, was going to teach an introduction to repair class. So that, it, it wasn't actually a performance thing that brought me to Wild Acres the first time, although I had by then developed a real curiosity about the Traverso. And I knew that they were having an introductory Traverso class, and you could sign out a plastic instrument to use. So that was my other motivation. I was at that time entirely unfamiliar with uh, Stephen Preston and his teaching. Um, so I, I, I came that year and I really loved it. And what is to say, every year since I've come back, um, because of, principally because of Stephen Preston's teaching, he just, he has a way of describing the inner workings of what, what makes piece of music tick um, on a very concrete and I don't want to say insightful because that's sort of an overworked word but he really kind of like gets down to the basic elements in a way that uh, the only other thing person I can think of who, who does that in, its, in a different way is, is Robert Dick actually and so I, I keep coming back for uh, Stephen Preston. I haven't been every single year but uh, for a while I was out of the country but yeah to always draws me back. One of my main interests in the flute and also in, in writing music, especially as concerns the flute, is, is the other sounds besides the classical sounds, so what we call the extended techniques. And I've been to a couple you know, retreat kind of situations that were uh, kind of more exclusively focused on that. And um, to the once I really enjoyed, they're unfortunately not in business anymore. But I noticed when I came to Wild Acres that there would be flutists performing that. And uh, one young player who did impressively, in particular, was talking with her about it. It's like, gee, it's too bad we don't have a class or at least a little group to do some extended techniques. For, you know, we have, we have such good musicians. And from time to time, people would go perform something on an afternoon recital. So I went to talk to Anne about it, and she said, like, at that time, well, we didn't have room in the schedule, et cetera, like that. And I was like, oh, you know, who might she get, or something like that. And about four months after the class, she called me up, and she said, well, you know, we're not going to be offering one of the previous classes, and there's a spot open for extended techniques. Do you want to teach it? And I thought, like, me? Well, and I thought, well, okay. I wanted to, I, I, uh, I, I felt it was a, a leap the first time, but um, I, I really wanted it to happen here because I already was having so much fun and it would kind of complete the puzzle. So I think it's important because music is always, you know, uh, it's like this composer Henry Brandt who was always inventive with orchestration. He'd say that we're, we're going to keep the instruments we have, but we're going to add to them. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't, let's say, about leaving the past behind because actually my, my interests are kind of, you know, the present and the immediate future and the past, because I really enjoy Baroque music too. Those are, the, those are the, the musics on the flute that give me the most stimulation. I was talking with uh, some flutists about other classes that we'd been to, and what's fairly unique about this place is the combination of a high level and a relaxed atmosphere. Um, I'm talking about places where, let's say, the level was high, the atmosphere was definitely not relaxed, and uh, I think it allows things to emerge that wouldn't emerge otherwise. And uh, I also noticed during this visit there were people that, you know, I'd probably seen, my eye kind of remember them from previous years and I never happened to have a conversation with them, you know, and I just happened to sit, you know, next to them at lunch and uh, find out a, a lot of interesting stuff. So that was, it's great how it uh, keeps unfolding. It's great to see old friends back here uh, year after year as well as new people.